Uh, welcome folks to the afterthought here it's your boy z the real and i'm back with a video to give you my roster update now so far from what we've learned that they've added at least about like nine more characters to the video game such as napa captain ginyu they've added android 16 they've added 18 with 17 tn yachu but this is just my complete list of what i want to see in uh, dragon ball fighter z now this is basically the entire complete list. I think this is the uh, character or roster they're going to select for the game. Now, I've been telling y'all that I want 50 characters, but I don't, I'm going to be realistic with here. I watched a lot of Maximilian uh, Dude's videos, and shouts out to Maximilian Dude for keeping us updated on the list. And shouts out to everybody else that's done their own YouTube list, but this is just being realistic with here. You know, I would like the uh, Arc Systems to get 50 characters, but I don't think that's ever going to happen, so I've narrowed the list down to 33. Basically, 30 initial characters that I think that's going to be in the game in total with three DLC characters, and that will be a max roster. So instead of 24, I think they're going to add around 30. So therefore, it could give you a, a basically of a, a big variety of characters you can use. And, to, um, and that's another thing. I'm going to get to the characters who I didn't get to add when I get to the uh, end of my video, and I'll tell you all why. But let's just go down the list now. So basically, we're going to start off with just the, uh, the main three hero characters, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. And from what I'm going to, um, before I continue, they're basically, from what I've seen, they're going to basically focus on basically the Dragon Ball Z universe. Basically, the first four sagas of that series, the entire Dragon Ball Z series. They're not going to be adding any Dragon Ball Super characters, I'm afraid not. GT characters, like I told y'all, are definitely not going to be making their list, but they're just going to be focused on basically Dragon Ball Z characters only. That means from the entire Dragon Ball Z series that we've all seen from the show, the uh, basically the seasons, including the movies, this is the uh, list I've added. So, first off, you know about Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan. They're your main three um, superheroes that basically the series evolved around. You know, Goku in the Super Saiyan 2 form, Vegeta, and Gohan initially. And this was the Super Saiyan 2 going on there to use his mystic form. So now we go down the list. And you know about the villains already. Cell, Freeze, and Manjibu, okay? One of the main three villains you've seen in this series. Okay, each playing an important role. We go down the list. Future Trunks, okay? Very important to the series. Sword type. You know, and then, let's say, and then Piccolo. I, I like Piccolo because he's a long-distance fighter. Okay, he uses special beam cannon, which is pretty good. Krillin. Krillin is one of the characters on here that has an unblockable move, which basically compensates for his damage. Okay, so I mean, like I said, Krillin normally wouldn't be able to hang with too many DZ fires, but they're giving Krillin some very uh, powerful projectiles, which will keep him in the game. So I like Krillin a lot. He had to make this list. We go down. So what they've decided to do here, because they can't add everybody in here, they're giving characters with some assist only features okay so basically android 18 will be paired up with her brother uh android 17 so when you use 18 you can pretty much um use android 17 as assist okay so that's a very good technique i'm glad they add in the game so you get this chance to see everybody without this including anybody and plus android 18 and 17 are a pair anyway but 18 being in the series longer they basically made her a permanent character Yamcha, of course, and I like about Yamcha, he's basically a Wolverine slash Sabretooth type character. His Wolfbane fist can basically um, slash, it has a lot of, it basically, he's a rushdown character. Okay, he can speed into you, he can beat you up. He has a very powerful um, technique with his Wolfbane fist. Okay, so Yamcha is pretty exciting to use from, if you um, watch the YouTube clips and the gameplay, I like Yamcha a lot. He's going to be pretty interesting. And plus Yamcha, and I know they don't they're not gonna really focus on too many joke characters, but Yamcha is silly as it is. But I mean they made him very competitive on here. And Tian, Tian is basically paired up with Chaosu, okay? There's a uh, his ultimate is basically Chaosu um basically um basically using like a su I don't wanna say necessarily a suicide attack, but he basically grabs onto you and explodes like he did Nappa. Okay, so I mean, that's a pretty um, basically serious attack. It won't take up all that much damage, but you have to combo into it. But this TN is basically from uh, Resurrection F when they fought against Freeze and when he returned and was basically wished back. So again, a very um, strong character. I like, I like TN and Yamchu together. So I mean, it gives you some more variety here. I like that a lot. 
Next on the list, okay, Nappa is one of the characters that's been confirmed for this. So I like Nappa. Nappa basically represents the Saiyan Saga because he and Vegeta were basically the main two that the Z Fires have to face against, okay? Again, it focuses on the Dragon Ball Z um, sagas, basically the storylines. And I basically put the Ginyu Force. Yeah, it's going to be Captain Ginyu going to be mainly using, but let's just face it. You're going to be facing against all four of them because Captain Ginyu has all four of them that he can use as assists. Okay, um, Birder and um, Jace basically use the, um, the purple clad move where they both use spin moves. They, um, they uh, basically throw Clyde Blast at you. Uh, Rikum has his eraser gun. And then Gildo is basically a grab. He basically uses psychosis, okay? He basically grabs onto you or he uses a move to keep you frozen. Well, Captain Ginyu can basically combo into some air attacks. Again, this, the Ginyu voice is very effective. And Ginyu has that body swap. The body swap is going to be a very, very OP move. Okay, because it allows Ginyu to basically gain more health and keep him in the game while getting knocked out. So, if you use the uh, Ginyu Force, you use Captain Ginyu Vector very effectively, you can basically control the game. He's very useful and he's going to be a tournament character when mastered. Android 16. He's becoming a favorite already from the beta. Okay, yeah, you can't have Android 18 and 17 without 16. He's one of, like Nappa, he's a very beat down character, very powerful character. He's like what you would have like a, a Incredible Hulk when you use a Marvel vs. Captain. He's that with those type of uh, fighters. Very big, very bulky. But Android 16 has one of the most powerful level 3s in this game. Okay, his, with his, uh, his explosion, uh, that explosion device when he basically unhooks his arms and basically blasts you. Very powerful. Next, we go down to the most two most powerful characters in this game thus far. And this is basically Goku and Vegeta in their um, basically Super Saiyan uh, God form. Okay, uh, they're basically known as Goku and Vegeta Blue, but we all know in, um, in Reservation F War, when they fought Beerus, they was able to turn into um, the Super Saiyan God form when they basically had the training. Yeah, a lot may, uh, yeah, they're used in Dragon Ball Z Super, but like I said, they're not going to really use too much Dragon Ball Z Super characters. They're not focused on that at all. For those that look at the storyline, I advise you go into the YouTube and look at the storyline for what they have. And based on Maximilian Dude, they're focused on basically a paradox. Okay, so I mean, uh, when Goku and Vegeta turned blue, they fought Frieza. So that's why this form comes in. It comes from the Reservation F. That's why when, Go when uh, Frieza turned gold, it's basically uh, replaying the, um, you're basically going to replay that scene. So this is why these two are in here. I don't agree with them two creating them because they could just put a skin, an alternate color for Goku and Vegeta. But I guess they're characters that you unlock in the game after you basically complete it. Now let's talk about this Android 21 real quick. She's basically going to be basically a character for a story mode. I, I'm taking she's a boss character from what the story mode predicts. She basically is using some type of um, machine where she brings these fighters in and she's basically using them as her own like army where well, you got to fight against basically um dead forms of these characters you fight against i mean i've never really gotten to the story mode in detail but she's basically another android created by dr jerome and dr jerome most notably is not in this game but his creations are so i guess she's another one of uh, dr jerome's creations that basically gets released through the machine he creates where he for those that watch the dragon Ball Z series Dr. Jerome creates a machine that basically updates and makes humans into androids. I guess she's the result of that machine that he built. Because Dr. Jerome basically built many experiments. And we've seen this from the Dragon Ball series when Goku was a child to the early stages to this um, basically android saga. And if, when we've seen from the movies, um, androids 1870 and 16 weren't the only androids. Outside of 19, he built 13, 15, and 14. So. That's the resort of it. So I guess the storm is going to bit through on her. And then in Arc Systems, for those that play Blaze Blue, she's basically a Kokonoe type character. For those that play Blaze Blue, the scientist, Kokonoe, she looks just like Kokonoe, like literally. From when I first seen her, she literally reminds me of Kokonoe, the voice and everything. So, And I guess she will be an active fighter. And you just have to unlock her. So I'll take it. She might be a boss character. We'll see down the line. But... Very interesting character deed, and plus there's not too many female characters besides 18, so I can see them turn her into a character, not just in story mode. Now, it wouldn't be a Dragon Ball Z game without these three. Now, Deborah basically ties into the Majin Buu saga, okay? They fought against Deborah, he's the Demon King, but 
he's very unique. He's a sword fighter like Trunks. He has some very cool techniques, and I like his spit form. They can use his ultimate where he turns you into stone, and then he hits you for a lot of damage. I can see that happening. And for those that played Ultimate Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Fire 22, the, from the video I showed you, he has a very good super attack. Very interesting. So uh, I can see them putting Deborah in this game. Supreme Kai, again, he ties into the Boo Saga. Supreme Kai played a very important role in the heroes defeating Boo in his homeland. And like I say, he trained um, Gohan. When he gave Gohan the sword, so I mean, yeah, I can see Supreme Kai being used in here. And plus, he's a very good rival for Goku to use. I think they could give Supreme Kai some excellent moves. That would be very unique for this game. And of course, we got to have Gotenks. Gotenks will be a very, uh, is already a fan favorite character. He's a demand right now. People want to see Gotenks in here. That's why I've decided to add Gotenks to the uh, character roster because we're not going to see Goten and Trunks individually no more. They don't have the space. But at least have Go Tanks, and him can um, he can summon his ghost for his ultimate moves. He can start off as a Super Saiyan two, but then transform into the Super Saiyan three. So this is why I'm adding Go Tanks to the character roster because I think he'll be great to see in this game. And plus, like again, he's part of the Dragon Ball Z universe. So let's go down the list. Broly. Let's go to the movie characters first of all. You gotta have these characters. Broly is definitely an, again he's a money making. If they add Broly, they're going to make a lot of money. Broly sells money. Like I say, he's just a pure badass. He just doesn't care. Broly would just go after you. You know what I'm He just beats you down. And plus, they can use Broly in his, his ultimate form where he's huge. Okay, this is a character you must need. A very good power hitter. And like I say, he's very strong. He can just grapple you. I mean, he just... If they use Broly, people will really love it. Fans are going to... People of this game are going to go crazy. And it's going to sell out very quickly. Again, Cooler. Now, I will say they can they could put Cooler in his um, final form like this, but when Cooler basically transforms like Frieza, he can transform into his meta form with the Mako Star. Let's say if you're on, um, if you want to go Ultimate and you down, you can basically transform Cooler into the Mako Star, where the Mako Star shows up and he gets into his meta form, and then he goes into a form like Frieza has, but metal, and then the meta form is even more powerful. I can already see using the Cooler. Cooler in this form is very cool. Again. Like Broly, he's, he's a must-have. If they don't put Cooler in there, it's going to piss off a lot of people. People are going to be complaining about this. So that's why I put Cooler in there. I myself want to have Cooler in there. If they don't add nobody else, if they can add Broly and Cooler, I'll be satisfied. Now, Bojack is in there because, once again, he's a movie character, okay? Bojack is something that that Gohan they have now fought after Cell was defeated in the tournament. Okay, he comes in there. He was somebody that the uh, Kai sealed off. He broke his seal. He's powerful. They can have... Bojack in his regular form and then transform into this form and then what's so cool about Bojack that you can use Biddy on his other two um, minions That use the swords they could be used as assist characters So I can definitely see Bojack making it making it in here So for those who create this game, I'm gonna send this list to him I want Bojack in here and give him the assist characters of um, Biddy The two um sword fighters that Trunks fought against who Trunks almost got killed by they could be his assist characters but again, he'll be another power hitter, very strong, very badass, and he's very crazy. He's what Arc System likes in crazy characters. He fits the mode. So again, I'll put Bojack in here. Now, we go down the list. Now, Zanya. For those that wonder why I'm adding Zanya to the list. Now, many fans may, there may there be many, many people, you young folks may be too young to remember this. But for those that played the Super Nintendo, the Sega um, Saturn, or the Sega Genesis back in the 1990s, for those that had those systems, those that remember, there was a Dragon Ball Z game called Super Budin 2. Okay, now if you don't, if you want to know about Super Budin 2, you can look on YouTube or you can download it from a um, game emulator. But play Super Budin 2, you'll see Zanya. Zanya was basically um, Bo, uh, Bojack's henchman. He was, this was his ace um, woman. They were like Barney and Clyde. They were criminals in the Guardian universe. But Zanya is very strong. She's a very tough fighter. Zanya can basically back it up big time. And again, she gives you another unique female character. And in the words of Maximilian Dude, she's a Wabu, definitely. She's very sexy, very pretty. I think fans would really like to use Zanya. That's why I'm putting her in here. Because, of course, characters like Videl is never going to make the list. Bulma's not going to make it in. They're not going to use Chi-Chi either. But Zanya, Zanya is very strong. She's very powerful. She gave these E-Fires trouble. Quite frankly, Krillin and Tien and those characters have problems against Zanya. So that's why I'm adding her to the list, because she can pair up with Bojack.
So again, I'm going to put Zion in there because she's another female character that played an important role in the, in the Z universe, in the movies. Garlic Jr., for those that know Garlic Jr., he basically enslaved the entire Earth, okay? He could use his dead zone type moves because Garlic Jr., you could basically use Garlic Jr. as his base form, his regular form because, again, Garlic Jr. can fight, okay? His, his uh, father was Garlic Sr. who fought against the original one, um, the fought against um, Guru for... Um, no, not Guru, but Kami. He fought against Kami to be the protector of Earth. Garlic Jr. is a very serious character, very dark. He had his own henchman. And again, you can get Garlic Jr. his own henchman as his assist. He has quite a bit of a quite a few of them like salt and vinegar. For those that watch the movies, he's very tough. And plus, Garlic Jr. don't really make it into too many Dragon Ball Z games. So I would love to see Garlic Jr. in this type of video game. And this Garlic Jr. could basically use in his second form. I mean, he transforms and powers up. And he can use his uh, that Death Star to basically suck you in and basically use a, his Ultimate 3, which could be very powerful indeed. And of course, Zarma's in there because Zarma is just crazy. Because Zarma by himself can fight. He has a lot of skill set. And again, he ties into the Namek Saga. But I think Zarma's level 3 is where he could boost up into that monster and then just be a power hitter and a grappler and just tear you apart. Because that Zarma almost killed Vegeta in the Namek Saga. So that's why I'm adding Zarma in there. And again, from my video from Ultimate Battle 22, they can very, they can be pretty much use Zarbon's character model. Easy. And Zarbon would be like that Vega character. You know what I'm saying? Or he could be like that character from uh, King of Fighters, that pretty boy with the long hair. I'm forgetting his name now. Shouts out to those who point that out. But the character who's paired up with Kiyo, but yeah, he's, he's like a Vega. He's pretty boy, but he's basically, his hidden strength is just a monster. Just ugly looked at, but very powerful indeed. So I can I can I'll, I can see Zarbon making it into the roster list. Then lastly, again, some more characters I decided to add in, and they're pretty cool. Android 13. Let's just face it. If you're gonna have Android 21 in here, you're gonna have 17, 18. Why not have um, Dr. Jerome's hidden gem, Android 13? Again, very tough fighter. And for Android 13, you could give him the assist of 14 and 15 together, like you would Captain Ginyu in Android 18. I think with him with the hat, he, he'll be a very cool fighter. I can see people really using Android 13. Plus, he's going to be confirmed anyway. I've seen screenshots of him basically being added into the game. So do not be surprised if they don't add Android 13 in. I think they will. I, I don't see why Android 13 don't get added into this game. So again, I want to see Android 13. The reason why I added Kibu over Subu because Kibu is Super Buu's true form. Like, Kibu is basically, Majin Buu is basically the resort of Kibu when he was locked away and sealed away by the Kais, by the Supreme Kais, by the Kaioshin, pretty much. If they didn't kill Kibu, Kibu was going to wipe the universe out. That's why I could see him as a boss character. Kibu is basically, he could be a very, uh, he could be another, he could be basically Gohan size, but he's very powerful. And then he's the last boss they face on Dragon Ball Z before Beerus shows up. I could see this character being added here because he's just that serious. And plus, you could put Bobby D in there controlling him. So I could see Kid Buu being in there. And plus, I like I prefer Kid Buu over Super Buu anyway. Because the thing about Super Buu, you have you have to, if you can put Super Buu, you have to consider putting his Gold Tanks or his Gohan observation form in there. And that's just too much work. So I would say add Kid Buu in there. And then Janemba, I don't even got to explain Janemba. He would definitely be added in here. People would want to see Janemba big time. So I, I, that was said, Janemba, I can I can definitely see him being in there because he's just a like again another badass, very crazy fighter, but he'd be tough. A lot of people would have fun with Janemba. Now to my DLC characters, I say Bardock in there because Bardock is Goku's father, he's Gohan's grandfather, and then you, and his ultimate move could be him powering um, using the um, the Great Eight. Give him the Great Eight move as his level three, and just have him just destroying everything behind him. So that's why I put Bardock in him because he's part of the movie. Master Roshi because Master Roshi trained the Z Fighters. Yamcha, Tien, Goku all, and Krillin all came from Master Roshi. And I think people would love to use him in there. And I, I looked at a lot of YouTube videos. People want to have Master Roshi in there. They're demanding Master Roshi. You put Master Roshi, this will basically please a lot of fans. And plus he represents the Dragon Ball universe, okay? Going into Dragon Ball Z, he showed up in most of the series anyway. So I would put Master Roshi in there. And plus Master Roshi can... Boost up and transform, and then Hildegard is basically from the um, from um, Tapion's movie. After Tapion, after the Z Fires defeated Hildegard, um, trying Future Trunks is given that sword, so I'll put Hildegard in there. It's basically that Sentinel character from Marvel's Capcom 2. He gives you another large character, but 
a projectile keep away fighter. So Hinegar could be interesting. So there y'all have it, folks. That's my character list. 33 maximum for this type of video game. Because again, this is Arc Systems. Arc Systems don't really focus on huge rosters, but I think 33 is pretty manageable. I'll be happy with 33 fighters. So again, that's my character update list from what I've seen thus far. Like, comment, and subscribe who y'all would like in there. But again, there's not going to be no GT fighters in here. You can count them out. And I doubt we're going to see any uh, Dragon Ball Z Super fighters. The only uh, fighters I can see from Dragon Ball Z Super is basically Lord Beerus. And Lord Beerus might be in this game as a boss character. I wouldn't see, be surprised they put him and his um and him and him his servant in there. So again, that's the video. Y'all stay blessed. Stay tuned. I'll see you soon.